This winter of 2023-2024. What does that mean? It means that our ocean waters in the eastern Pacific will be above normal by at least 0.5 degrees Celsius. And the Climate Prediction Center from NOAA showing that this is likely to be a 100% chance at an El Nino at least through March. As we're looking at that chance, we could get back to neutral a 50-50 shot almost by mid parts of May or June, but for the winter, it is a certain that we will be in El Nino and it could be a record El Nino, one of the strongest ones we've ever had. So what is El Nino? That warmer than normal surface sea temperature, sea surface temperature on the eastern portions of the Pacific along the equator. Now what that does is it changes the weather patterns in the atmosphere and that greatly impacts our winter because El Nino and La Nina usually become the strongest during the winter months and that's where we usually see the biggest changes in ebbs and flows. As far as the tropical jet stream, that heads to the south and the polar jet goes a little further towards the north than it normally does. That tends to trend or lead to cooler than normal temperatures for areas in the southern half of the United States and warmer than normal towards the north. As far as precipitation, usually it's drier than normal off towards the northern United States, including the tri-state and Cincinnati, stretching all the way into Montana, and wetter than normal and more likely to have some flooding along the southern portions of the United States. But it would be a cop-out to say that's what we're looking for this winter. So let's break down El Nino and what it has meant for Cincinnati and the tri-state over the last 30 years. But before we get to that, we've got to denote what actually is average over our last 30 years. Snowfall normal 23.5 inches average temperature when you take the high and low temperature of every day from December 1st through February 28th in some years the 29th on a leap year that average temperature comes out to be 33.9 degrees. So what will this winter bring us? Well, let's break down the last several El Nino winters here in the tri state dating back into the early 1990s. We've had nine of them in those nine years. Six of those finished with above average snowfall and five finished with above average temperatures. That's 50 50 on the temperature side and it's about 66% above normal when it comes to snowfall on the snowfall side. But that just included two strong El Nino's. We're looking at a strong El Nino this year, so let's break down every El Nino year that was strong with 1.5 degree or greater sea surface temperature change of above normal sea surface temperatures and what that meant here in the tri-state. As you see, out of those eight, six of them finished with below normal snowfall. So that's probably the trend to lead towards, but it was 50-50 when it came to temperatures with above average finishing at four and below average finishing at four. But I want to take a look at the last five since 1983. So over the last 40 years, there have been five strong El Ninos and of those five, four of the five finished with above average temperatures. So the forecast this year, as we look ahead, I'll be going with below normal snowfall as well as above normal temperatures for that winter forecast. Check back as we get on into the spring to see if we can hit it two years in a row. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day.